right, so this is going to be a very quick video just demonstrating what happens when we use uh, Weston. Uh, so this is going to be our compositor and it can use Wayland. And these are the installation instructions. Uh, UDEV is important if you want to use system D. And if we want everything to be set up for us very well, like DBus and uh, other things, system D just does a good job in that. Uh, so I'm not going to do it manually. And in addition to it, we already saw how to debug some of the um, missing libraries and stuff like that. So I'm using the fuller kernel. I mean, I already talked about it before. So we just need to install like a Weston and we need to have a DRM available for it. So these are like the sizes and running it will just, we don't really need to do make your full and export it if we use system D because it takes perfect for us. But otherwise we need to do that. And then uh, we do Weston and that's it. So let's see what it gives us. I can do it from a terminal as well. And if I go and here go like Weston, then I get my display manager. And this is wonderful, and this is great. And I can go into user. Uh, I, I, this is from another demo. And let's see. Mm, Leap x this Qt6 examples. I, I installed connectivity examples. So we'll go to low energy scanner, and we can go and run it. And there we have like a UI, okay? Which we have because I installed quite a few packages. So the packages that I installed, and here we can see that there is no like automatic uh, mod setting here, right? Uh, so this is one of the reasons why you don't want to just use it directly. If I like closed it, and let's see this again, let's say I kill. Weston, maximize the screen, and rerun Weston, then look at this, it will look like completely different, okay, Oops, that was not my intention, so there we have our terminal, and I could go to user, um, leap, Execute. Of course, it will also work in other platforms. Here we have, by the way, quite a few like quick, quick QML because we installed several other um, packages, not just the connectivity examples. So we can see it here in the slide. There are examples as well. Um, let's grab Qt here, and we'll see quite a few ones. Not all of them come when we install Qt libraries or Qt examples. So. Uh, if we don't have, for example, like uh, some of like the QMLs, uh, then it may not show you. Your application can boot, but it will not show some of like the widgets, which can be annoying. But look what happens when you have like West on. Like you can, you can have like the concept of like different uh, windows. They're being composed, and you can configure it to have like different wallpaper, to have all kind of panels, and you can use it like as your desktop environment essentially. And it's good because <laughs> it works quite a lot, like as you can see, like in this in the slide. So if I rerun this one, um, then we'll see the let's see low energy scanner. I run it, and you'll see like a nice UI here. Okay. I could also put other examples, like of the graphics and so on. Maybe I've done it in another video. Here I will not do it. I'm still keeping like the root file system minimal. And in the next one, I will actually uh, connect a Bluetooth dongle and actually let you see that this application does something meaningful. But my intention is to do it like in the meetup itself.